Hey, Scott here from Wicked Reports. Welcome to our pitch deck where we're gonna find the leads that buy. Think about the last online purchase you made. Did you go straight to the website or Amazon to buy it? Perhaps if it was a well-known household brand, what about something niche like lobster? Do you know where to go? What if you saw this ad on Facebook? Would you just immediately run for your wallet? Probably not, according to our research. What if you saw it five more times? Are we suddenly gonna hit that magical number of impressions to make you buy? That's usually not the case either. So how does the seller convert you? If you're Mark selling lobsters online, you gotta get the leads to smell the salt water. You have to know your customer's journey because it's not gonna be see something and immediately click and buy. So if you're running online marketing campaigns, you are kept awake at night wondering, how do I grow faster? It's not run more ads, make more money. It's the challenge we need to solve. We invented people-based tracking, a technology that automatically tracks your ROI by connecting to your marketing and sales systems and layering it over the customer journey of clicks. Wicker Reports is the marketing version of video game cheat codes. We deliver an AI-powered platform that gives you data-driven answers to grow your business faster. We show you when to scale, chill, or kill your marketing campaigns based on your marketing ROI. This is really important because all the small and medium businesses out there trying to compete online, it's hard to get a level playing field. And from analyzing 1.7 billion in track sales from our platform, we've already found these three truths. New leads take time to buy, old leads don't act like new leads, and customers have wildly different lifetime values. And because of that, your marketing campaigns and strategy need to reflect that. You can only get the answers in the data, but it's really tough to do. Let's meet Lorraine, a customer. She's worth $4,000. Imagine finding 1,000 Lorraines for a small business. That's 4 million bucks. So let's try to reverse engineer how we acquired Lorraine and continue to convert her over time and replicate it over and over again instead of reinventing the wheel. There's challenges when you go to do that. The first is you gotta be able to trust your data. We base our insights on real clicks, leads, sales, and revenue from the source systems that store that data. Revenue always gets misreported if you don't rely on your actual shopping cart or point of system database. Pixel-based systems, redirect systems, Custom-coded thank you page reporting, all of that has a ton of complexity and doesn't work most of the time. Once you can trust the data, you gotta know, can I actually get the right data? Figuring out the customer journey is almost impossible to do for a marketer on their own. Look at all the spray and pray marketing that goes on here. Emails, AdWords, Facebook, offline events. If this looks really confusing, it's because it is really confusing and I do this for a living. There's nothing out there that gives you an unbiased view of the cross-channel, complex customer journey based on the actual data that occurs in your source systems like Wicked Reports does. Facebook will tell you, hey, it's the Facebook ads that made them buy. AdWords says, oh, this is easy. It's the AdWords ads that made them buy. But those are opinions, not facts. Wicked Reports gives you the whole story by pulling out the key leverage points that drove your best customers to become the best customers. The reason we pulled these out is that they're trustworthy, verifiable, and they answer critical questions that you need to know, such as what finds new leads that buy? Every business wants to know that. Well, you don't find new leads based on the sales conversions of the last click of your old customers. And that's what you're doing when you're in the ad platforms, trying to make educated decisions based on those conversion results. It doesn't scale, it doesn't find new customers. You've got to focus on what finds the new leads that buy. So at this point, even if you have the right data and you can trust it, you still gotta act on it, otherwise it's useless. I like to turn to some wise men here, the greatest of all time in their respective crafts, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. Let's say the Patriots run an offensive play that loses two yards. Is that good or bad? You'd probably say it's bad because offense is trying to gain yards. However, what if it was the last play of the game and you were just taking a knee to win the Super Bowl yet again? That's a great play because your only goals at that time 
were to hold onto the ball and let the clock run out. Context matters in stats and in your KPIs and marketing. No one seems to be taking this into account. Fortunately, Wicked Reports does. Let me show you. In football, the goal is to win the game. So based on the time left in the game, who's on the field, the coach calls a play. The play runs and stats are collected. And then you have to make a decision based on the result of the last play, how much time's left in the game, what's the score, and what are the trends. And then you make the next play. You don't just call the next play without all this information. Marketing is very similar. The goal is to maximize revenue based on the time you've been running a campaign and what you're trying to do, because lead generation is a lot different than trying to get someone to click and buy, you're going to place an ad to an audience on a channel for a budget. And then the ad accumulates stats. Now, how do you act on that stuff? Well, your next play call depends on how that ad is performing based on benchmarks. How do you normally do at this point in time with this particular intention? Are you doing better or worse than you usually do? You need the context in order to know whether you should raise the budget, which is scale, chill, keep running, or kill, turn it off. So we provide benchmarks in three ways. You versus yourself, you versus companies of a similar size, and you versus the entire Wicked platform universe. So you can know exactly how you're doing compared to others in addition to our normal stats of ROI, lifetime value, customer acquisition cost, and loads of others. You need to know your click stats, lead gen stats, sales stats, customer stats, and then based on how you're doing versus the averages, you scale, kill, or chill. So we take the attribution combined with the benchmarks, combined with the scale, chill, kill framework, and that's how you iteratively grow your business in a repeatable manner using data to reverse engineer high value customer acquisition. Our goal is to target the top 10% of the 6.8 million SMBs that are currently buying ads. We want them at least spending $100 a day on advertising is our wheelhouse. We can help people as long as they're at that level. They want control of their business. Our product has evolved substantially and we're now going to be introducing components of artificial intelligence this fall. Here's Wicked Reports. You can see the ROI view. This alone was a feat and got us to our current growth just by the fact that we could combine lead systems, sales systems, clicks, and advertising platform data and automatically give you these reports so you know if you're making money or not. Then you can drill in and see the full customer journey and know where you made the money. Because if you made the money on leads that were bought three months ago, you need to know that. And this customer journey view breaks that down for you in an easy, digestible, visually understandable way. The benchmarks and KPIs, you can choose what intent you're doing rather than be an attribution master. And then we automatically update the benchmarks that you should be looking at. Also taking into account how long the campaign's been running so that you know should you scale, chill, or kill? We have Wicked Smarts allows you to ask questions and then we'll filter the data to give you the answers. Facebook Chrome extension, inside of Facebook, we can detect what account you're looking at, what campaigns you're looking at, and what the date frame is, and pull in the lifetime value and customer acquisition costs from your source systems so you have Wicked ROI data where you need it when you're managing your campaigns. You don't even have to go back into Wicked Reports if you don't want to. We have a data-driven playbook now. What are your best emails? You can click on one of the best emails and see why it's one of your best and what we think you should do. What should you be targeting to make more money? Everyone wants to know that. We've already asked the question, given you the answers, told you what to do with the information. Areas you, that you are losing money that need monitoring. No one wants to lose money, but sometimes you got to spend at a deficit while you're getting new leads that you hopefully are going to convert. And in this case, we put it up on your radar so you can keep an eye on it. Missed opportunities. This is a gold mine. Lots of times leads take quite a while to buy, as you saw earlier. Average of 43 days. Well, not a lot of small companies can run ads for 40 days at a loss. 
So once these leads start buying, if now they're buying at a high level, you can turn the ads back on because we're already mining your data and telling you, hey, you should turn this back on. And our part of our AI vision is to gamify your growth. So our Chrome extensions will detect when you've set new records and reward those that are using the tool efficiently and effectively and gamify your future success. Our growth strategy, you know, we were innovators and then early adopters, and now we're um, just getting out of the chasm. For those of you familiar with crossing the chasm, where we were trying to be everything to everyone, we've now narrowed our focus. We get to 1.2 million ARR. We now have 96.4% retention rate. You know, that's an incredible increase from what we used to have, which was still good in my opinion. We've got strong revenue for a two-year-old company that only had 9,000 leads and a minuscule marketing budget. We got a great NPS score average and our retention keeps going up every month. Facebook marketing partners, Google elite partners, one of only 500, and we've been multiple app of the year finalists for Infusionsoft. Our growth strategy is focused on better focus in the marketing, ease of use and reliability. If we convert 1% of the top 10%, of all SMB marketers, we're gonna add 3 million in ARR to our bottom line. That's our first step. Then we increase the integrations we have using Zapier and HTTP post and ManyChat rather than trying to custom integrate everything. This step actually just got completed. For, for our July release, we're gonna have one click exportable white label reports for agencies to send their clients to increase their retention along with agency specific playbooks to help them help their clients and retain them. Then we're gonna move into the training and certification area. We already have a fantastic membership site, the Wicked Academy with customer only courses. And we're now gonna open that up to the public this summer. Step five is to convert an additional 2% of the top 10% and that'll get us to 9 million ARR without including upsells, services, or training. That's just subscription SaaS revenue. Remember the lobster? He's actually a customer. He gave up on Facebook pre-Wicked reports, had wasted four grand. Now he's made over a million dollars on 170K ad spent. We got a great 12 person team. We run lean. Here's a little bit about me. I've done data my whole life, basically. Learn more at wickedreports.com.